what's up everybody this is titan titans of cnc and today i want to inspire you to raise your skills and change your life today we're going to teach you how to design 3d models in solidworks this will allow you to open your minds and design all that you can comprehend in 3d now if you don't have solidworks we're going to actually put a link in the description down below and this software that usually costs thousands you're gonna be able to get it for $20. Crazy, right? No matter who you are, this is a crazy opportunity. And as always, Titans of CNC Academy tutorials are 100% free. Oh, you gotta love it, all right? So with that, I just wanna introduce you guys to this tutorial. Let's start with a Titan 1M in SolidWorks. Boom, and then you can go to the Academy, go to the Titan 1M, 2M, 3M, start knocking it down, changing your life enjoy boom hey everybody welcome to titans of cnc academy my name is billy boyce and right now i'm going to take you through modeling the titan 1m today we're going to use solidworks 2021 so first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at sheet one of three and we see that we're just going to draw a rectangle that's three quarters of an inch thick and it has 10 thou radius corners on it. So first thing we're going to do is come up here to the blank piece of paper and select that guy. You should see a menu that looks like this or it'll look like this. I prefer this view and I'm going to go ahead and select part and say OK. Now we're going to go ahead and start a sketch so let's go over to the sketch tab and select new sketch. We're going to choose this top plane, and then we're going to move over to rectangle. I'm just going to go ahead and snap right here in the middle and drag that down and to the right. And we have that field is already blue and highlighted, so I'm just going to go ahead and type 1.9. I'm going to press tab and then type in 4. I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to go ahead and press F for fit and that will bring everything into view. I'm going to come over here to the fillet. You can see that the fillet parameters is already highlighted so we can go ahead and just type in 0.01 and enter. Now we can select these corners uh, two ways. We can go ahead and select both lines and we'll get it or we can hit just the actual corner itself. So there's two different ways you can do that real quick. And then go ahead and hit the green check mark and hit it again. So the sketch is done. So we can come over here and go ahead and close out the sketch. Don't hit the X, just hit that little jump arrow. That's basically saying we're done sketching. Then we'll come over here to the features tab and select extrude. Again, the depth or height of this part is already highlighted and that's going to be a dimension of 0.750. Go ahead and hit enter one time and I want it to go the opposite direction so I'm going to go ahead and select this reverse direction box. I want it to extrude down and then I can go ahead and hit OK. So that finishes off sheet one of three. We can move on to two of three. Here we're going to be adding the threaded holes First thing we're going to do is sketch out a bunch of points and give them dimensions. And then we're going to use the hole wizard to add those holes. So let's go ahead and go to sketch. We're going to choose new sketch and we're going to choose the top surface. Now we can go over to points. And I'm just going to drop these points down and have it look something like the print. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to get out of the points command. And we're going to go up here to smart dimension. I'm going to select this edge and this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and type in 0.15. Enter. Again, I'm going to go from that line to the point. That dimension is 1.15. Enter. Go from here to this middle one. That should be just two. Go from here to here. 
that dimension is 2.85. Enter, go from here to here. That's going to be 3.85, enter. Okay, now we're gonna go from the top here and work our way down. That's going to be a dimension of 0.15, enter. We're going to go from here to here. That's a dimension of 0.3, enter. We're going to go from here to here. That's a dimension of 1.216, enter. And now the last one we're going to do with dimensions. 1.750, enter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape to get out of the dimensions command. I'm gonna now hold shift and select this first point and this one here, and I want them to be in line with each other vertically. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit make vertical. Then I'm gonna kinda of click off of the part to unselect those. And now I'm gonna select that one and this one. And I'm going to say, make horizontal. And that brings that other one down to that position. Again, I'm going to click off the part, hold shift, and make the selection of these two. And let's say, make that vertical. Again, click off the page or off of the part. Select right there, holding shift, and that one. We're going to make those horizontal. Again, click off the part. I'm going to select this one, holding shift, and this one. And we're going to make those horizontal. So everything is good to go now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the close dialog. I'm going to go ahead and close this sketch. And now I'm going to go to features. Once I'm here at features, I'm going to go to whole wizard. I'm going to come down here and make sure we are on straight tap. We want the A N S I inch bottoming tapped hole and the hole size is going to be a 1032. This end condition, this top one here is the overall length of the hole. So let's say we drill the hole and then we tap it. The tap doesn't really go all the way to the bottom of the hole very often. So let's go ahead and set this up at 0.580. Then the thread, we have a call out of 380 for a minimum. We'll just leave it there. And then we'll go ahead and come up to positions. We'll select 3D sketch. And now we can go ahead and select all of our points. You'll kind of see a snap there when you get close to it. It'll snap over to it. That locks you right into where you need to be. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this, kind of look at it. Yep, looks good. Green check mark. So that finishes off sheet two of three. Let's go ahead and move on to three of three and add the pockets and chamfers. So we're just going to go over to the sketch tab. We're going to select create a new sketch. Click that top surface there. Let's go ahead and do our offset. Our offset is going to be 0.3. Enter. All we have to do is select the top surface, and you can see this little arrow jumping back and forth depending on what side of the edge I'm choosing. We want this on the inside, so just choose that side and then go ahead and click, and there you go. Let's go ahead and add some circles. So we're going to come up here to circle. Again, we can just snap to the center of that hole. I'm going to click, kind of drag out, type in 0.313, enter. And you don't necessarily have to drag it. You can go ahead and click. And as soon as you see that dimensions dialog box, you can start typing. 0.313, enter. I'm going to go right here. This is the 0.188, enter. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to get out of that command. And we're going to go to line. I want to go ahead and just sketch a line down here at the bottom of the part. I'm going to select the edge and just drag that almost all the way across. I'm going to hit escape, press L for line to get back into that line command real quick, 
And now we're going to draw a tangent line off of the circle to this, and then we'll add an angle dimension. Good way to do that is you'll see that there are those yellow points on the circle. You want to kind of avoid those. So kind of go right here in the middle, left click and hold, and see so you have that kind of tangent relationship between that line and the circle. Drag that down to that line we just drew, and then let go. Do the same thing on the other side. As a note, try to avoid having that little dotted line go across, because that'll kind of just lock it to that circle at that point, and not really necessarily give you the tangency. So I'm going to drop just a little bit lower right there, click and hold, drag that over to the line. Let go, and there you go. I'm going to press escape to get out of the line command. I'm going to come up here to smart dimension and select this one and that one. Type in 45 from there to there. 45, enter. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the trim entities tool real quick and kind of cut that off and cut that off. Let's go ahead and cut this right here in the middle so we end up with something like that. Let's go ahead and get that guy too. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's just go ahead and trim that and that, this and that. Go ahead and hit escape to get out of that, and let's go to offset entities. Again, we're going to do the 300 thou, so we'll just leave that alone. And I don't want to offset this whole piece, just the line. So what I'm going to do is just select that line, and then the direction I want it to go. Again, I'll have to select that again just the line. I want to go that direction. Now we can go up here to fill it and we have a 0.195 times. So that's a 0.195. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and then we're going to do from here to here. Green check mark, green check mark again to get out of the fillets command. Let's go ahead and go to trim and we're just going to kind of clean this up real quick. So we're going to get rid of this one, this one, and that one, this one, that one, and that one. Green check mark. We're going to go ahead and finish the sketch. Coming over here, click that guy. And we're going to go to features, and we're going to do extrude cut. Our depth is already highlighted, so we can just go ahead and type 0.5 and enter. I'll rotate this around so you can get a preview. Looks good. Green check mark. Okay, so all we need to do is add these corner fillets in our chamfers. Let's come up here to fillet. We're going to go ahead and type in 0.195. Enter. I'm going to select this guy right here, and we get this cool little pop out. If I hit that first one, it kind of misses a couple. If I go to this next one, you see it gets them. So we're going to go ahead and choose the second one here. Boom. Now we got all our fillets. Green check mark. And there we go. Chamfers are found underneath this fillet tab here. So you just do this little drop down and there are your chamfers. That's going to be a 10 thou. It's already at 10 thou, but if not, 0.01, enter. Make sure you're on full preview so you can see everything that's being selected and get a preview for it. So I'm going to go ahead and select this top line, the top of the pocket, this little cutout, and the bottom of our part. And so we get the preview that shows up all the way around and looks great. I'm going to go ahead and hit green check mark. And there you go. That is the Titan 1M. And we did that using SolidWorks 2021.